Hi everyone and welcome to a new session about Azure Container Apps. In the last session, we have seen a lot of stuff, including Azure Key Vault, and today we are going to add something new. We are going to use storage account in order to see Azure file shares and how we can add persistent storage storage in order to save files uh, like image and PDFs or any kind of files. So we will not see the container file system or temporary storage, but we will focus on Azure file shares in order to save pictures and uh, files in general. So this is a sample what are we going to build. We are going to use the first application in order to upload pictures or files like that. And the second application will show the content of those files that we have uploaded. The content of the files are going to be saved in Azure File Share inside Azure, blog, uh, Azure Storage Account that we are going to create. So as you can see here is the results. And using the first application, we will upload image like that and we will show them inside the second application. As you can see, when we refresh, we have the, all the files uh, that we have uploaded. And if we go to our file share inside the storage account, we will see the files that we have created right just there. If we delete, for example, this one and we refresh the uh, this uh, uh, web app, we will see that one image has been deleted. So this is the result that you want to do. And we are going to use uh, .NET applications in order to upload and uh, view the image. Both applications are .NET and we are using Docker in order to containerize this application. We can run the application on local. I will share the link later for GitHub for this application. And as you can see here, this application on my, my local computer. And what are we going to do is we are going to build both application and we are going to tag them and push them inside our um, Azure Container Registry. If you want to see more information about Azure Container Registry, I advise you to see the videos that I have created before this one. Okay, now we are building our image. At the beginning, I had an error because uh, Docker was not running on my local computer. Okay, great. The project is being built. And the both application, I'm using .NET 7. You can even use .NET 8 if you want. Okay, tagging the image. And right now I'm going to push it to our Azure Container Registry. Cool. So this was the storage writer application, and this one was responsible for uploading the files. Okay, right now we are going to do the same for the application that is responsible for reading those files. The application on local, it will run and uh, read uh, just a PDF file that I have saved inside it. I will just run it to show the example. So this is a file that I have here on local computer. I will just do the same, build the image, tag it and push it to Azure Container Registry. The important part here is creating the Azure file share and saving those pictures or files there. Cool. Okay, we have built the image and I will tag it and now I'm going to push it to the same Azure Container Registry. Amazing. Okay, now let's go to Azure Portal and what we need to do right now, uh, let's check the post uh, image that we have uh, created right here. So the .NET Rider and .NET Reader. As you can see, both of them are here. Cool. Now we are going to create the Azure Container Apps. 
Let's first begin by creating the Azure uh, container app that will be responsible for uploading or writing those files. And let's name it .NET Writer. Okay, so we are going to use the image that we just have pushed, the .NET Writer, and the tag V1, version number one that I have pushed. Okay, and we don't need environment variables for now, and we need to expose this application on the port 80. Like that. And create now. I think I missed something, but let me check after this one is created. Let's close with the tabs, we don't need them. Let's wait for the application to be created in order to see the results. No, of course the application will not work as expected because I still did not configure um, Azure storage account. So here 403 because I forgot in the inside the ingress to put this application public. Okay, let's save it. And right now it should be working Cool. It's in public and it should be okay. As you can see, this is the result. Cool. And now we are going to create the reader application in order to read those files. Okay, let's create demo dot uh, net reader let's name it like that and the container we are going to use the .NET reader container okay and the tag one cool and English enable it let's allow the port uh, 80 okay and let's create the application all right, the application is being created right now and it will take a few seconds in order to be created. Let's wait a few seconds. Okay, the application will be created. It's taking a while. Okay, great, the application now it's created let's check the application oh i didn't create um, i didn't handle the exception here because i didn't uh, create a storage account so the application doesn't read what exists inside the storage so i will just configure application right now what we need to do is actually to um to create the storage account cool now let's create the storage account and we need also to create inside the storage account an azure file share so let's name it demo container apps let's go with the local redundant storage and here Next, next networking. I'll put it just public, and I don't need actually soft delete to be enabled. This is just a quick demo. I'll delete everything later. Okay. Okay. And I will put just inside the source group that we are using for the demo. Okay. And now we need to create this storage account. Okay, now the storage account is being created. We only need to add a file share and reference that inside the 
Azure um, App Containers environment. Let's refresh this page. We wait for the container storage account uh, actually to be created. Okay. And right now inside file shares, I'm going to create a new file share and we will name it just my file share. I don't need backup for now and I will create. This is the template for creating the file share. Okay, and create. Now the file share have been created. Okay, this is my file share. And right now, what we need to do is actually to reference this file share or the storage account to inside uh, our um, container app environment. For that, let's go here and inside the uh, Azure files. As you can see here, I have done a couple of demos before this. So let's name it. Let's give it a name. Let's give um, the important part here is uh, the storage account name, the storage account key, and the file share. And actually, to the access mode. Okay. So here we have uh, the actual storage account that we just have created. I have similar names, so it's demo container, uh, demo container apps, second one. Okay. Let's write it right here. Yes. So let me copy this. Okay. The storage account key right now to be access key. Let's uh, copy the access key. And we need also the file share name. So this is the storage account name. And let's copy the access key. So as you can see here, we have the access keys. And we are going to copy the first one, not the connection thing, but actually the access key. And we are going to put right here the file share name that we have created, which is my file share. Copy and paste. Okay, we are going to write and read. So we need the access mode as the write and the read. So read and write. And let's add this file share configuration that we just have put right here. Cool. Now we need to configure the environment variable for each container that we have created in order to add this storage. So let's go to the writer application and we are going to edit and deploy the container that we have created. Let's tag the file share that we just have created, which is YouTube file share. And let's put the mount path that we are going to use, which is slash app dash uh, upload which is uh, the same configuration that I have put inside the Docker file. Okay. Now a new revision will be created. It's actually running. All right. Let's click on it. Let's go. Okay, cool. So this is the new revision that is being created. Let's go to the, the uh, uh, storage account. Okay, and here we have, no, this is actually the old one. Let's go to this storage account. And here, this is the file share. As you can see, it's right now empty. And let's try to upload a picture or a file. Let's upload this picture. Upload. And go back to our storage account, the refresh. As you can see here, the directory image have been created and the picture have been uploaded. Let's try again right now and upload this PDF file. And let's go back to the storage account. Refresh and new directory was created, is created and uh, it contains the PDF file that we have uploaded. Now this is uh, working great for the reader, uh, writer, sorry, application. Now we need to configure the reader application with that will read these folders from this Azure file share. For that, let's edit this inside 
the volume mount and what actually actually we need to do here is to configure this in order to read from the same same uh, file share that we have configured before so the same mount path save as you can see here i will just show you inside the docker file it's here that i have created and defined those folders and in the solution too so let's save this create and a new version will be created as you can see if we go right now we should see those pictures that exist already in the file share and this is what we really need as results so let's try to upload something new let's upload this um architecture okay upload and let's refresh the read files all right it's been read here as you can see and we are reading from the same as your file share here as you can see now we can delete from this let me remove this we can delete from this and we can delete also this and refresh the page here and you can see everything is being deleted let's upload again okay load refresh and the picture exists right here as you can see now this is the result that we wanted to have and like that our demo is finished and here we have seen how to as add as your storage account and as your file share in order to save files to our application see you in the next demo